Thanks. Why are you recording me? And not the hair. Alright, let me use. Go ahead. You gotta cut that, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Once you get it out, it's pretty good, I guess. It's still hard, but it's not painful. Well, kind of. Kind of hurts? Yeah. But not a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a lot. It's okay. She's not screaming. <laughs> Alright, let's see if you can get to the roots. Here, it's just too tangly. Mm -hmm. It's like not getting no tangles in it. And I gotta get that out of my fingers. It could help you do better now. Should we try it with the the little piece? Yeah. Alright, let's try it with the little piece. like it's worse. Is it help? Tara, mm -hmm. is it hurting? It hurts. A bit more. A bit more now? Mm -hmm. It didn't hurt so much the first time? Yeah. That looks like it hurts. She does. It's not frozen. Okay, it's actually better. That's better? Yeah. But the piece is better. Tara, how you feeling? It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> but does it hurt? See, look. I'm, already, I'm up there. So that actually helped? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Okay, so yours didn't work so much with the little piece, but hers is working with the little piece. Yeah. Okay, so it just depends on the hair. Yeah. All right, so that is what we're learning about this brush. Mm. Yeah, that normally probably would have took like 10 minutes to get through. Like literally, just that little piece. You did that in like three minutes tops. Four minutes maybe. Yeah, now it's like this, let's try without. All right. Yeah, it's like worse without the piece. So she needs the piece in hers. Yeah. Not so much. Not so bad? When it's a 
like this, not tang so tangled. Like if it's super tangled, I would say use that. But it's not so tangled, so you just glide right through it. Okay. There you go. She's not crying. She's just watching her video. Oops. So I think this was a good idea. All right, let's finish this head. All right. So this is my opinion on the Easy Detangler brush. Um, it finally came in the mail a few days ago. Uh, we decided to use it. Um, I used it on my daughter's hair. Obviously not my hair, but uh, my daughters have heads full of hair. Um, so we did use it on my youngest daughter here. Um, her hair is just tangly. It's, no matter what you do, as soon as you leave it by itself, it all wants to congregate amongst each other. So I said, well, let me try something different because, you know, you don't want your child crying and screaming for hours. Well, she doesn't scream, so I'm not going to sit here and tell that lie, but um, she does experience pain when I'm brushing her hair or detangling her hair after we wash it. So I saw this brush. Um, it came up on my Facebook feed. Um, I went and looked at some videos on YouTube, trying to see what everybody else was talking, and decided, hmm, let's try it. Why not? Ordered the brush. It came. Um, my oldest daughter tried it on her hair. She has extra thick hair also. Um, but her hair was dry at the time. She was able to kind of get through her hair, but again, she literally brushes her hair like on a daily basis. So her hair wasn't super duper tangled. My youngest daughter, I typically only do her hair every few weeks. We try to keep it in braids or something so I don't have to do her hair every single day. So when we wash it and it, it's, it tangles like very, very badly for back, lack of a better word. So we went through, um, I washed her hair, soaked it down with some leave-in conditioner and started brushing through. And I actually have some clips of my daughter doing it and I'll add those to the video as well. So... That was fine, that one little section. We learned we couldn't do it in big sections, which was the hope that this would actually speed the process up because we could do more hair at once. Um, didn't work out so well with her hair. Her hair is super duper thick. So we tried it without the little clip, this thing. Uh, it was okay until you got to a point where it was actually tangled. As long as it wasn't tangled, brush worked fine. But when you got to a tangle, it was just like I was using a regular brush. So it didn't make any sense to me to go through all this waiting on this brush to get here and having to go through hell to use it. The main part which nobody mentioned in their videos was this little stupid thing right here. And I'm calling it stupid for a reason because it's stupid. Do you realize how many times I had to stop what I was doing because this thing came off? And I had to keep moving it back like that defeated the whole point of it being there. It worked a little better with this thing on. But after you go through two or three passes through the hair, next thing you know, this thing is up here somewhere. And it's like, what the hell? I'm wasting time. So I was wasting more time having to deal with this than I was actually brushing. Was my daughter experiencing pain through the process? She was. At first she said it was uncomfortable. It wasn't painful. But by the time we got to where it was really tangled in her hair, she was experiencing pain. And again, that was the whole point of buying this brush to begin with, was to take away the pain from my daughter getting her hair detangled. So if you're looking for a brush that is going to get rid of that issue um, in doing your child's hair, I can't say you're going to expect it from this brush. Is it a nice brush? Mm, it's, it's decent. Um, but is it something that I'm going to, you know, ooh and awe ah about? I can't do it, honestly. I thought I was going to be able to. I was looking forward to it. But I can't honestly say that I'm in love with this brush. I'll use it because I have it at this point. But it's, I, I was better off just using a wide tooth comb than I was going through this whole process. So that's my honest opinion on the Easy Detangler brush. Hope it helps somebody.